Because so it's play. It's time for World's Strongest Engine. Team Tommy versus Team Trackmaster. Hyperglow Thomas, Henry, Glenn, Crash and Repair Bash, Christmas Time Thomas, Nia, Snow Covered Gordon, and Snow Covered Spencer for Team Trackmaster, Lady, Murdoch, Duck, Arthur, Extra Fast Thomas, Rusty, Toby, and Mavis for Team Tommy. Right, Dad's gonna be Team Trackmaster. I'm gonna be Team Tommy. You're gonna be Team Tommy? Yeah. You pick first, which team member do you want? Yoink, Lady. Uh, you know what? Lady is a magical engine. She needs a magical Glyn. Lady of the Rails with her magical gold dust and- This is Glyn. Glyn the coffee pot with his magical coffee beans. Ready, set, go. go. Here comes Glenn up the candy cane lane, and he's gonna be Lady, Lady over that halfway mark. Oh wow, she slowed right down. Glenn has stopped completely, Lady has slowed down. A little bit of action as Glenn lifts up Lady, gets her through the candy cane lane over the bridge. This Christmasy track pushes her down. Oh, and I think, is she stuck? Yeah, she is, right inside there. You can see that her coupling, coupler is actually caught in the track. We have that problem a lot, don't we? Move her ahead a bit. Yeah, as soon as we do that, yeah, Glenn's got this beat. I think that Glenn won this one, no problem. Nice dancing, but dancing, coffee. Look, he's got coffee. Says, I'm on too much coffee. Good attempt for Lady of the Rails, but Glenn, I think this is the first time he's made it to the next round. I'm gonna go with one of these, Tom I'm gonna go with Christmas time Thomas. And you're going with extra fast Thomas? Uh -huh. Liam loves these Thomas versus Thomases. This is gonna be a musical journey for our Thomas, but extra fast Thomas, I don't think he has time for this. He's just too fast. Ready, set, go. we're off and here comes Thomas, he's chugging, he's going extra fast too, but extra fast Thomas have told me over the halfway point and he's getting very aggressive right off the bat. And he's pushing up, and look at this, once again, it is the tail. It's that rear coupling rod, little rear coupler. See, as soon as you get the coupler on the way, it's extra fast Thomas, and he's extra fast, extra getting rid of. You better bring presents to the children. You gotta learn to win, my friend. Christmas time, Thomas with his snow, he got a little bit slippery trying to bring presents to the children. Extra fast, Thomas. Surprise look on his face. Even he's surprised he won. Well, it's a win for Team Tommy, meaning that Liam gets to pick first. That was fast, I didn't even see who he picked. I think I'm gonna go with a big strong engine to take care of Arthur. Henry of the Steam Team representing the Trackmaster side, while Arthur from the LMS Railway We'll be on Team Tommy. Ready, set. Go. They're off, here comes Henry up there. Arthur, oh no, Arthur is struggling to get up the hill even. Give him a little bit of a push just so he gets up on Candy Cane Lane. Henry definitely far and away, whoa. Both engines are quiet, this is weird. This is really weird. This I know, they canceled each other out. This is like super quiet. <laughs> Arthur with a little bit of a push and he's slowly gaining on Henry, who's knocking down candy canes, it looks like. I wanna eat a candy Are you gonna eat the candy cane? You eat that candy cane, we're gonna watch Arthur slowly pushing on Henry. Henry trying to fight back, but look at those wheels turn. This is even a track designed to help Henry, but Arthur definitely getting a little bit of an advantage, pushing him down the candy cane lane. And there it is, oh, and the coupler doesn't even get caught. Arthur pushing downhill should have no problem with Henry. Henry's wheels looks like they're slowly slipping a little bit. Will Arthur be able to finish him off? Oh, oh and it's, oh, look at this, Henry is just holding on. Look at those couplers. Wow, look at that. He's gonna rub a hole right into this snow. Pretty soon this snow is gonna turn to ice if he keeps rubbing on it. Arthur all the way up. I don't know, William, what do you think? Arthur will win. Do you think Arthur will win? Oh, oh wow. This Look at that front wheel up. just holding on there. This is a really yeah, unique situation. Just the, that wedge right inside there with the buffers. Henry. 
says, things are looking up for me. Well, be happy looking down. Arthur, the LMS. Oh, wow. Henry, the number three engine. Great effort by the big green caterpillar, but Arthur out of nowhere representing the LMS. Tommy is up. William, you are the winner, winner, chicken dinner. You get to pick first. Toby. Toby. I think to go up against Toby, we're going to have an engine like Hyperglow Thomas. Toby eating a candy cane from Candy Cane Lane versus Hyperglow Thomas with that awesome paint job of his. I want some. Thank you. Ready, set, go. They're off, and here's Hyperglow Thomas. Quick up on Candy Cane Lane. Toby taking his time. Thomas makes it past the halfway mark, but these Tommy engines are extremely strong. Toby is just manhandling Hyperglow, and he takes him right down to the street, and he will get eliminated. That was a big, fast win for Toby and Team Tommy. William has won three in a row, folks. I think I know who he's going to pick. Duck, you picked Duck. I was wrong. Only one person can make this duck quack and that's Nia. Liam has Duck from the Great Western Railway for Team Tommy and Nia from Trackmaster. Quack, quack, quack. Ready, set. Go. They're off and here comes Nia up and she's going on Candy Cane Lane. Duck a little bit slower, Nia over the halfway mark. But they won't meet. Nia's wheels have stopped. Duck the number eight engine, he's quacking along. No waddling here as they're meeting at the Candy Cane. It looks like Duck is gaining just a little bit of ground. He's just getting inches on. A little bit at a time. None of the wheels are turning. I wonder if Nia is just gaining a little bit on Duck. This is hard to tell. It looks like she's just gaining a little bit inch by inch here, folks. Slowly but surely. Yeah, there she goes. She's getting gains now. Oh, and she dropped a candy cane. Unreal. I'm glad you're putting it back, but I don't think it's going to be enough for Duck. His wheels are turning backwards slowly as Nia's moving on. Gaining that track. It's a pretty evenly matched race is here. Duck, the Great Western Engine. Oh, wow! He flew backwards, but went forwards again. Nia still just inching ahead. You can see those wheels just turning slowly. Ducks, not so much. And finally, Nia does it. Well fought effort from the Great Western Railway with Duck, but Nia of Kenya. That's pretty good, considering that Africa is a far away from the North Pole. It is Dad's pick for certain at this point because Trackmaster won. And I'm gonna go with. Dash. You knew it. And who will bash? Defeat, I mean, go up against. Oh, Rusty. And Mavis feels the wrath of Rusty. I don't know how Bash is gonna do up against these candy canes with those crash and repair. Rusty, big square head. He does pretty good, doesn't he? Oh no! Why didn't expect that? Ready, set. Go! They're off. Here comes Crash and Repair Bash up to the candy canes. Rusty already climbing. Looks like they will be just a little bit over halfway, and it looks like. Rusty's getting the advantage. Look at this. Bash is just knocking over candy canes as Rusty is pushing Crash and Repair Bash and Rusty wins. Another big win for Team Tommy as Rusty knocks out Crash and Repair Bash rather quickly. Two more races remain in the first round. William, it's your pick with the win. Mavis. Mavis it is. And I think Mavis is going to meet Santa Claus here when Spencer comes to town. Mavis, the black edge, and Spencer, sleek, silver, and strong with that beard. Who will win? Let's find out. Ready, set. They're off, and here comes Santa Claus Spencer. Mavis, he's a little bit of help up the hill. That's not a good sign. And Spencer meets her. Oh, wow. You know, these Trackmasters have the speed, but the Tomies have the torque. I mean, this is just insane. Spencer well over the halfway mark. Matt Mavis, but Mavis is having no problems pushing Spencer along. That far car quarry must be a hard place to work. Spencer's eliminated. Another big win for Team Tomy as Mavis has eliminated Snowy Spencer. And the final battle going into the next round is Gordon the Big Blue Sausage versus Murdoch. Ready, set. Go. They're off and here comes Gordon up Candy Cane Lane. Murdoch already topped her. They will meet around the middle mark. That was a very even match. Murdoch being driven by his tender was pushing on Gordon. But will it be enough? Will it be enough to keep Murdoch on track and on time? Gordon, no push around. Wow, Murdoch is getting a little bit, yeah, he's getting torquey here once again. 
I was hoping these snow covered engines would do rather well, but it looks like Tommy has eliminated another Trackmaster. Wow! The final entry of our three snow covered engines has been eliminated as Murdoch and Team Tommy go on. Things not looking so good for Dad and Team Trackmasters. Team Tommy is beating Trackmaster by a score of 6 to 2. Only Nia and Glenn have survived for Team Trackmaster. While Team Tommy boasts Murdoch, Extra Fast, Thomas, Rusty, Toby, Arthur, and Mavis. Let's do some second round action. William, I think that you had the last win. You get the first pick. Murdoch. Murdoch. I don't know who I'm going to have go up against Murdoch. I think we might as well go with Glenn. Murdoch and Glenn. I don't think there's a gleam of a Glenn in Glenn's eye of him beating this big engine on Murdoch. But let's see what happens. Ready, set, go. Glenn, off to the races. Climbs the hill, no problem. How's Murdoch doing? He's a little bit slower. Needs a little bit of help up that hill. Glenn, oh wow, yeah, he's getting towards John Murdoch now. He's a... I may be a coffee pot, but you're just a little teacup, my friend, eh? And in a vulgar display of power, Glenn, the coffee pot, has eliminated Murdoch, the big orange engine. Team Trackmaster picks first. I think maybe he'll go with Nia. Team Tommy, who do you want, William, to face Nia? Who's Rusty? Rusty. Orange, orange. And in the most orange battle you'll ever see, we have Nia of Africa versus Rusty of Narrow Gauge. Ready, set. They're off. Nia, climbing candy cane lane, no problem. How's Rusty doing? He's already halfway up there. They meet about halfway. Rusty automatically, he gets the upper hand and he's just being very aggressive. Pushing on Nia, knocking down candy canes in the way and it is quickly over. Rusty, very dominant. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this guy in the final. Four Tommy engines remain in the second round. Oh, you got Arthur? I'm gonna go with Mavis. Mavis of the Farquhar Quarry versus Arthur of the LMS. Let's get him going. Ready, set. And here's Mavis, barely making it up the hill, but she will make it. Arthur a little bit faster. He goes over the halfway point. It is going to be an aggressive, interesting back and forth battle. Arthur now getting the upper hand. He is definitely taking it to Mavis. Mavis is fighting back a bit, but really Arthur has been dominant at the candy cane. Mavis showing a little bit of grit here, but she's going downhill and it's not looking good for her at all. Is she caught up on anything there? No. I don't think she is caught up on anything. I think Arthur is just showing his aggressiveness with the wheels turning on this weird track. Mavis's wheels are also turning. Oh, it looks like he got a little bit more traction there. Mavis. He's off track. In the off forefront. Track. He's got his track going. She's the one that's kind of off track. What do you think? I think that Mavis is eliminated at this point. What do you think, William? Yeah, okay, well, now you're touching, so Mavis is eliminated. A weird angle for Mavis, Arthur ultimately eliminates her and moves on to round number three. And the final race is Extra Fast Thomas versus Tommy the Steam Tram. William, I think I know who you're gonna pick. Extra Fast Thomas. That's who I thought you were gonna pick. Ready, set. Go. They're off, here is Toby making no problems up there, but Extra Fast Thomas being extra fast. Oh, Toby fighting back, this is unreal. I thought Extra Fast, whoa. Back and forth, forth and back. I thought Extra Fast Thomas would definitely just dominate this, but Toby is just getting quirky with him. Look at this guy, total surprise. Extra Fast Thomas showing a good effort, but ultimately, Toby wins. I can't believe that Extra Fast Thomas lost, let alone to Toby. Wow, way to go, Toby. Here are the final four in the semi-final. A lot of red engines here. Glenn holding on for Team Trackmaster. And for Team Toby, it is Rusty, Toby, and Arthur. Well, William, I know who I'm picking. Who do you want to have go up against Glenn? Rusty? Yeah. Good choice. You think Rusty's gonna be the ultimate winner at this time? Yeah. I don't know, Toby eliminated Extra Fast Thomas. Anyways, let's see these two square heads face off. Ready. Set. Go. They're off. Here comes Coffee Pot. Too much coffee, man. Up there. Rusty already halfway. Yeah, they are meeting halfway. Yes, Glenn. Unreal. Glenn holding it on for the track mask. Will he be enough? And he, oh, what an exciting elimination. Rusty on his roof, wheel spinning. Glenn, the coffee pot, holds on for Team Trackmaster, making it to the final. Rusty has been eliminated. The other semi-final match is all Team Tommy as Toby takes on Arthur. William, who do you think is going to... Wow, okay. Ready, set. Go. Toby will climb Candy Cane Lane. Arthur and he will meet, and it looks like, oh, Toby has a bit of an advantage going over halfway. Wow, Arthur. And Toby, pretty evenly matched at this point. Will there be a better winner? Oh yeah, Arthur now getting a little bit more aggressive. Toby, are those front wheels off? It's hard to tell. His wheels are spinning. Arthur's are kind of stuck in place. 
Arthur just gets a little bit, he was just inching up. Yeah, you can see that. Just inching here and there. And he once he grips, he gets a good grip on there. Toby, I think his front wheels are a little bit off track. Even if his back wheels are still going. Arthur, once those wheels start moving, they really get moving. Toby, I thought Toby would do very well if they win in the final. I didn't see Arthur doing this. And he is pushing on it. Look at this now. Toby fighting back, but ultimately I think it's too much. I don't think that he's going to be able to go up yet. His wheels are now stuck. Oh yeah, look at that. Right there, folks, you can see that the top layer is being caught up there. Once he lifts it out, it is all over. Oh, and it's getting stuck there again, see? That's the only thing that's saving Toby. Toby is He knows he's cheating. This is awesome. I kind of like Toby because he, he knows he's cheating and he's doing it just to cheat. I just need enough to get lodged in there, man. And Arthur, I think Arthur will go on. I think he will defeat and eliminate Toby. Toby repeatedly got his coupler stuck in the track. I thought he would make short work of Arthur. Arthur proved them wrong and Arthur goes on to the very final. The final match will be a Trackmaster versus Tommy Affair as Glenn takes on Arthur. But I wanna see a battle for third place. Let's have Rusty and Toby go at it. A couple more square faces as Tommy will get the bronze medal in this, no doubt. Rusty. You want Rusty? Yeah. Good, I wanted Toby. Ready, set. Oh, Toby bites it up again. Here comes Rusty on his side. I think that Toby will get the slight advantage to go over halfway. Back and forth, forth and back. This track has seen lots of bad action. Toby is pushing on Rusty, but this is, wow, really quick for Toby. Liam, I thought Rusty was gonna do really well, but I guess in the end it was Toby who actually wins this and gets the bronze medal. But who is going to be the ultimate winner is the big question here as Glenn faces off against Arthur in the final. You wanna be the track master engine? Yeah. Ready, set. Arthur coming up Candy Cane Lane. He has a tough time of it. Glenn already up on top. And he will go over halfway in. Yeah, look at this. Ultimately, the Tomies did very, very well. But look in the end, it is a track master world. Unbelievable, Glenn. In all the engines in our collection, I would not have picked these three to be the to be the ultimate winners of the podium. Bronze medal goes to Toby of Team Tomy, silver Arthur of Team Tomy, and surprisingly, gold goes to the Trackmaster. And out of all the Trackmasters, it went to Glenn, the coffee pot. I would not have predicted this at all.